After months of hard work, the day has finally arrived to announce the winning team of The Only Way Is Up. Today we invited the top three entries to the University of Limerick to receive their awards. But only one will be the first ever Irish transition year experiment to go to space. It was great fun really because we got to learn a lot about what we were doing and it was an interesting topic that we picked as well so it was really great to start seeing how it, just even its effect on Earth and then how much fun it would be like just seeing, like imagining what it would be like in space is even better. Well I suppose it would have been great to, to have got to the next step and actually have gotten into space but even just as Fargo was saying about imagining the possibilities of um, the growth of the intelligent mold in space was um, just even amazing to think about, but it would be great if we could eventually at some stage get into space. The research was definitely more interesting because I uh, found out a lot more about space and how we could apply stuff um, even in the future about how we could start thinking of ideas now um, and what we could do in the future for space. Yeah, it'd be a great, a great opportunity for other students from other schools to kind of get a chance to see their project up in space. Well, when we were searching, we were thinking of like different things, like maybe creating a light, like with different chemicals. But like we kind of like kept what we did, so we didn't like search many other things. Well, we just kind of said it. We were thinking of different things we'd already like done in science class, and we just came up with the idea and we started researching it, and we saw that it was really interesting, so we decided to go with it. We were like in a bit of shock. We were like, oh god, we didn't think we'd actually get first or second or third place, so we were quite happy. We're seeing like can reinforced concrete like be made in space? Can you build a building in space out of reinforced concrete instead of having to ship up steel and all that to reinforce it? Or can you just use uh, fibers, just basalt fibers, and they're just basically thin threads of hair, really? And we're seeing can they form and make reinforced concrete in space? And uh, what we're using is one thing of cement, um, another bit of water and some sand and fibres in the third section. We're, what we're hoping to happen is that to prove that reinforced concrete can be made and it might be stronger or might be weaker or just to see is it plausible to make in space. But we're hoping that it actually is a lot more stronger because of the pressure and the vacuum of space itself. I don't know, we're hoping anyway to see this. It's positive results and that it actually turns out that it's either similar or better or just works at least up in space and just researching it and just try and find out like why it could we do better next time or you know, how to progress from there. Well when they heard the results obviously they were delighted and again couldn't couldn't believe it and even the principal and every, you know as I mentioned they just you know they could couldn't really comprehend how how they have got this far and even progressing, you know, even maybe to get go and see the launch and everything like you know and Prince was very supportive in that as well. So um, you know, it was great for the student, for the school, and for everybody. And you know, it'll encourage other students as well to maybe think more about participating in science, getting involved in, in a more practical base. That's not just all in the books, and we take it out of the classroom and into practice. I think, and that's really what's important for science is to make it practical. Don't just leave it as words on a page. That it's actually something that can be used and something that can be beneficial to everybody. We really didn't believe we were going to win at all. But then we heard we won, we just didn't believe it. We couldn't. Um, it was just, it was really like, it was our first experiment. Like we couldn't think of anything else and we actually won it then in the end. It was amazing. It was a great experience for everyone, especially the people they get to win and they do get to see what implications the Zero Gravity in Space has on the project. See how the comparison will be with the ones on our observer. <coughs> It's a good competition, it's a great experience for anyone doing it. I'd highly recommend it.